Hello guys, in this video I want to talk to you about uh, Jacques Derrida and his most famous concept, you know, the concept of difference. And, uh, you know, I'd like to explain it in the clearest way possible. Um, so what the hell is this uh, difference business? Well, is it simply a difference, uh, you know, like... <laughs> you know, philosophical difference, uh, you know, just concept of two things not being identical. Well, no, that's not what difference is. Uh, to some extent it is, but, you know, that's just the minor aspect of it. So, difference is that which comes up when, you know, you fail to achieve full presence. That's really the simplest uh, explanation I can give you. You know, the simplest uh, definition of difference. It's that which you run up against when you fail to achieve full presence. So, what is presence? Well, according to Derrida, and, you know, Derrida is one of these uh, pretty epic philosophers. Like, you know, he doesn't just deal with one, uh, you know, minor you know, question, he deals with all of Western philosophy. Um, sort of like Heidegger says that, um, you know, Western philosophy got, you know, the question of being wrong beginning with Plato. And in a similar way, Derrida says that um, beginning with Plato, uh, you know, Western metaphysics uh, began to sort of suppress that which is non-present according to that same you know western metaphysical tradition so i know this might be a little bit abstract a little bit uh too philosophical perhaps so let me give you uh, a clear example so um if you read plato and i suggest you do because he's really smart and really funny uh, you know there, there is a really interesting theme in plato you know that is uh According to Plato, writing is way worse than spoken speech. Uh, you know, spoken speech is present. It's like right here. It's immediate. It's true. It's like it's right in your face. You know, it's just truth given to you right now. Right here, right now. You know, you hear my words. It's immediate. But... You know, think about it, that, like, what if you read my uh, lecture right now? You know, like, if you read it as a text, um, it's kind of, it's not the same. It's not as immediate. Like, like right now you hear my voice, like, you just, you know, you perceive the truth, you know, uh, person to person. But if you read it, my speech as a text, um, there would be distance between, you know, my truth and you, like, in speech, it's immediate. Like, you, you get access to the truth right now in speech. But in writing, you get this distance. So that's, you know, one instance of difference. Um, you know, writing, you cannot get the same presence in writing as you can get with, you know, verbal communication. And, you know, that's one example of difference, you know, writing and, you know, Derrida's most famous book is called Writing and Difference. Writing can be seen uh, as an instance of difference. So, spoken speech is present and immediate, but, you know, if you try to achieve the same thing with writing, well, you fail. And you know, like, and that's what you run up against you run up against the front so in the next video we'll elaborate on this